So do you see my terminal now? Yes, we can see it. So basically, if you go to each directory, you can find this uh, uh, this file, being me. If you just follow this instruction, then uh, uh, you can just perform the tutorial. For example, in the case of uh, Garim Arsenide case, uh, if we open the readme file, uh, there is an instruction. So we first perform SCF and NSCF calculations. If you want, you can, uh, we, can we use parallelization? Or uh, if you want, you can also, also parallelize pw.x. I think up to five MPI processes should be okay on the virtual machine. But uh, it, it is not expensive. So the single single parallelization is enough, I think. And then uh, move on to the uh, 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 symmetry adapted uh, one function. In this case, SP model centered at the uh, arsenic, arsenic site. Apologies, it's Friday. No, it, it's not five, it's four MPI processes. My my bad. You can also uh, look at, in this directory, you also find You can also find this uh, SAWF tutorial instructions uh, in the uh, directory. You can also have a look at this uh, instruction. Uh, this is uh, created, thank, created by uh, Barrio, and I'd like to thank Barrio for uh, creating these very nice instructions. Basically, this is just very same as, the instructions are very same as uh, the README. So you can either look at read me or this instruction. And uh, as I already said, uh, if, we, if you go to each directory, we have the REF ref, reference directory. And if you look at the reference directory, you can find the input file, the pw21.in, and also the w 90 input file, win, win, and also the reference output file, wout. So if you do not have confidence uh, in the input file or the output, you can refer to these files. And also or in the case of uh, garium arsenide or the kappa case, uh, in the original paper by uh, Lei Sakuma in 2000, 2013. Uh, so in the original paper, uh, considers garin arsenide and the kappa as an example. So you can also compare uh, your result with the original paper. You can also find this uh, paper uh, in the GitHub uh, directory.
So in the case of uh, Garima Asen and the case, the max maxima opera is one in functions, uh, the sp3 like uh, one in orbitals. So it would be interesting to also work on this uh, maxima opera is uh, one in functions. So in this case, uh, the uh, The one year orbital center at arsenic site uh, just uh, it is like a subtle point. So if we just put the uh, small perturbation to the uh, initial uh, the position of the uh, initial projection, then uh, it quickly uh, flows into uh, it quickly uh, flows into maximum localized one year functions. And then the uh, total spread of the maximum localized one function should be uh, smaller than the uh, symmetry adapted uh, one functions. Excuse me, uh, can I ask one question? 
Sure, sure. Um, for this tutorial, uh, gallium arsenide, the valence band, is it possible mm -hmm. to quickly check if the top of the valence band has the right degeneracy? And the, the created one, uh, one you from the created one functions, you mean? Yes. So if you plot the band, or you can, you can, I think. So in the in the GNU, uh, the gallium arsenide underscore band GNU. So this would just plot this, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you can plot the band structure. Uh, using this uh... okay and then just can we can zoom in and see mm. thank you but uh, most probably if the symmetry of the value function is uh, uh, has the proper symmetry uh, then uh, the uh, also the uh, band structure should also have the proper symmetry so then you, you can also check the uh, symmetry by the standard output. And uh, in this case, uh, uh, all the three orbitals are equivalent and it is uh, exactly at the atom center. So uh, the DFT bands, uh, the one year band should also satisfy the symmetry.
I don't, can, can I ask a question? Hello? Sure. Yeah. Um, so um, in the case of a material where the band uh, minima is not at a high symmetry point, for example, uh, silicon, uh, the, the, the conduction band minimum is, is between uh, gamma and X. Uh, in that case, if you use maximally localized Wani function and you, you are like increasing the, the grid, the K-point grid, then the minima uh, of the conduction band will move uh, slightly. Uh, if you are using symmetry adapted one year function and you are along this high symmetry line, uh, gamma x, will this help? So if you then change the coarse k-point grid, uh, will the minimum of the conduction band move or will it stay the same? Well, if... Uh, so I... In the... Basically, in the in the both in the case of uh, maximum localized one function and the symmetry adapted one function, if the number of the one orbital is the same as the number of bonds, it basically it both one function re just reproduce the DFT band structure card for DFT band structure, right? So, so the this band minimum problem is already exists in the case of DFT band structure or just the problem of the maximally localized one function? It's, it's a problem of the maximally localized one function. So somehow no. you don't exactly reproduce the band minimum, the conduction band minimum. So and and the, 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 the band will slightly change, move, if you change the k-point grid. So it will it will converge, but it will it will, you know, it, it will slightly move, converge slowly. So uh, for very... So, uh, yeah, uh, you for mean very, the, if the number of k-point is small? Or for the, example, the uh, yeah, 666 or something like this, and then 888, 10, 10, 10, then you will converge, but it will move. So it's ah, slow converge. Then, uh, then it does not help. <laughs> it doesn't help. Okay, okay, thank you. This is because the, 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 the hopping structure, hopping is rather uh, long range. So... And uh, basically, the, uh, uh, the the spread of the uh, symmetry adapted one function should be uh, the same or larger than the maximum localized one functions. Then the uh, uh, then the, the the hopping range is basically the same or even uh, longer than the. Uh, Okay, thank you, thank you. I don't know, I don't know. But uh, this problem comes from the long range hopping. So I don't think it helps. But if this long range hopping is not allowed by symmetry and it is from just garbage, garbage of the maximum localized value function, namely it is not essential, then it might help. But my opinion is maybe it does not help. In the tutorial, what you when you said small perturbation around what number? And, okay, so in the uh, uh, in the example of the maximally localized one year function in the garden arsenide case, uh, so in the reference input. I put this number, so point, point 0.25, point 0.25 is the position of uh, arsenic site, but I put point 0.251, so point 0.001, uh, perturbation to the uh, uh, projection. Uh, it can be uh, smaller, but uh, maybe uh, uh, it need more iteration to uh, clearly break the symmetry. So if you uh, have big, big perturbation, then uh, it quickly flows into uh, uh, 
maximally localized point because it is a saddle point.
Uh, I have a question. Yeah. So in the copper example, we just copy the thin file from Gallium mm -hmm. Art. Yeah, but mm -hmm. is there some utility that uh, generates this file for I don't know, particular set of symmetries or just from giving a few generators of the symmetry group? I mean, something similar that can generate this file without the need of typing all this. Yeah, the, okay, so now we have a question on uh, Kappa. So let, let me explain this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I keep the Gaia Marcinic, I jumped on Kappa. Yeah, the reason why we take from the Garmin arsenide is that the, the full symmetry mm -hmm. from uh, Kappa, mm -hmm. then uh, we remove the inversion symmetry. Then the, the, uh, the set of symmetry operation becomes equip the same as the same as that of, that of Garmin arsenide. The, the reason why we... No, I understand. Yeah, I understand that. Just the question that uh, can we generate the file somehow without running calculation for Gallium arsenic? Uh, from PW, uh, uh, I see, from, from PW, we cannot customize symmetry, right? If we, they detect uh, the, the, the full symmetry, mm -hmm. if we use symmetry, then uh, this uh, uh, symmetry adaptive mode just uh, uh, just use this information uh, from uh, that and uh, in principle uh, if it is not easy to write some program to remove the inversion symmetry from this full symmetry group but uh, for the moment uh, if we want to customize the symmetry then uh, you, you need to create the dot sim file by yourself mm -hmm. and uh, basically the, uh, the style of the The style of the same file is very simple, just oh, no, I, no, I know, of course. Oh, I, I'm just asking if there is... For the moment, you, you need to create okay, files. For, for fun, okay. So in the case of... Uh, so now we have a question on Kappa. So in the in the special case, actually we can also customize the symmetry operations what we use. And uh, in if we want to customize uh, the symmetry uh, to to be used in the symmetry adapted mode, you can put the additional input file, additional input read sim in the pw2.1 file then uh, in this case uh, this pw2.1a uh, requires uh, the uh, dot sim file then uh, then you can uh, customize the symmetry operations to be used in the symmetry adapted mode the, in the case of uh, uh, in the example of this Kappa uh, tutorial, we try to create the uh, S orbital uh, centered at uh, one force, one force, and one force. Then, uh, uh, in this case, the uh, symmetry of this uh, projection lower than the original uh, kappa symmetry because here uh, it uh, this the existence of this s orbital breaks the inversion symmetry to keep the uh, uh, inversion symmetry we need additional uh, input like uh, minus one fourth minus one fourth minus one fourth then uh, if we uh, create seven orbital uh, one orbitals then uh, you can uh, keep the original uh, full symmetry. 
but here we omit this uh, s orbital at minus one fourth, minus one fourth, and minus one fourth. Then uh, with this set, uh, we uh, we cannot uh, we do not have inversion symmetry. Then uh, in this the symmetry also need to be compatible with this uh, initial projection set. Then uh, uh, you can uh, customize uh, the uh, uh, symmetry file. Then, uh, as I already uh, replied to the question, for the moment, if you uh, want to customize the uh, symmetry, you need to create the uh, .sim file uh, by yourself. But in this case, uh, the, the symmetry of the kappa without uh, inverse symmetry is exactly the same as the symmetry of gallium arsenide. So then uh, in this case, you can just copy uh, from the uh, gallium arsenide uh, yeah, file. Can I, can I just add that a nice uh, uh, website where you can look at the symmetries of different uh, mm -hmm. crystal structure is the Bilbao crystallographic server. Where you can look at all the uh, weak off positions of uh, all possible uh, uh, groups.
I see. So I actually I have a question. The question is, uh, can you clarify why you said uh, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth s orbital or in the uh, kappa uh, example? Why why do we want to let s orbital located at one fourth, one fourth, one fourth? And actually, this is a kind of uh, uh, this example is a kind of artificial example. We can uh, use uh, physically. There is not so much uh, of much motivation to do that actually. But just for uh, demonstration, actually, we can uh, customize the usage. Just for demonstrating demonstrating the custom usage, uh, we put this uh, uh, projection. We choose this projection. But uh, is there actually some example where it is really useful to customize it? To use some symm uh, reduced symmetry for the one-year function. I don't think there's not so much such situation because uh, it means that we, if we, we want to lower the symmetry from the original full symmetry, right? So basically, what uh, we want, we the symmetry of the one-year function. Basically, uh, physically, it should uh, keep the uh, symmetry of the uh, original uh, compound. Only if you if you only if you low, want to lower the symmetry of the one function, uh, you customize uh, uh, this kind of thing. Can it work in the opposite way that you actually uh, make a higher symmetry? Higher. For example, yes. Yeah, so that uh, say your system breaks some system, but maybe only slightly due to some dis atom displacement, and you well, no, I... put an extra symmetry. <laughs> what will happen? Higher symmetry. I have never thought about that. But in that case, because the DFT band structure, it breaks the symmetry. So, for example, if we the symmetry is lowered at some k point. The degeneracy is lifted. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we use higher symmetry, it means that if we cannot uh, reproduce this uh, lifting of the uh, yeah, of course. But right? what, what will happen? Just uh, the, all the questions. <laughs> what will happen? Yeah. I As it, it will it crash or will it just restore the degeneracy? I. I think it crashed because the uh, it uh, it used the original uh, this D tilde matrix is the uh, how we transform the how the Brock wave function is transformed mm -hmm. and uh, this D tilde and uh, this capital D is not compatible in that case this in this D tilde case 
uh, the degeneracy is lifted, but in this capital D, uh, there is a symmetry. So it is incompatible. So I think it produces an error, but I have never tried that.
Okay. I have another question. In the case of kappa two d like one functions of the same spread, while the uh, other three d like one function also have the same spread, but in a different way. Yeah, it is due to the uh, Chris, uh, the it is the EGT to G spread. Okay, so we have one question. No, I, I want to ask mm -hmm. you. Okay, no question. Thank you. 
Hello. Uh, yes. Yeah, I have a question from the copper example. Uh, mm -hmm. There I ran the calculations to check uh, whether the spread of the uh, one-year functions are similar to what I am getting from the reference you have provided. For mm -hmm. example, omega i I am getting is 4.097, and in the example or in the paper, it is given 3.968. So is it because we have used some approximation, so it is not the ideal case? Uh, therefore, this slight discrepancy is coming between my calculation and yeah, exactly what you are showing that I also got those results, yeah. Uh, in the reference, in, in this file? Yes, so mm -hmm. in the output file, if you go cu.wout. Yes, exactly, here. Yeah. yeah, right here. Yeah. And what you get is? Yeah, and you, if you compare with the paper, uh, it is... A paper, the, a uh, sorry, the paper, uh, first uh, they use the different uh, uh, pseudo potential and uh, the difference might come from the different uh, okay. pseudo potential. Okay, thanks. And, uh, also the uh, K point. Uh, K point I think is the same. The, uh, the energy wind, uh, they, Another reason for that is the K grid and also the K grid should be the same, but and also the energy window or something like that. But in principle, they use the different uh, pseudo potential. And uh, I don't think they use quantum espresso for the uh, DFT structure calculation. So the difference should also come from that. Okay, thank you. I have another question. Uh, I question in the chat that that is the origin of this uh, what I mean it has the uh, FCC uh, in the kappa I think it is uh, FCC structure right in this example Then uh, in some orbital, it the the log of the sum orbital uh, points to the other kappa orbital, but other uh, orbitals are not. And then uh, then this gives the splitting between EG and the TCG, even in this uh, simple kappa case. The position of the kappa atoms break the uh, spherical symmetry. Hi, uh, I, I have a question about the, the dot sim file. So if I understood mm -hmm. correctly, um, uh, so in the case of copper, we have to, to remove inversion symmetry because in one of the, yeah. the, the two positions that in, you know, where, where we want to get the, the banner functions, then the inversion right. symmetry is, is not contained. But then on, mm -hmm. on the other bike of position, it is contained. So uh, are we losing information about the <laughs> the set symmetry group of the other bike of positions. Yeah, that's right. For for the d orbital, uh, right. Uh, that's right. So it's not possible to specify different uh, set symmetry groups for the different bike of positions. It might be possible, but for the current implementation, uh, that kind of uh, use it's not supported. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Izuki. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, this is Sophie. Uh, thanks for the nice talk. Uh, I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. I about the actually the NSCF calculation. I, you know that one has to do. Uh, I once tried this for a distorted perovskite where you have like four symmetry equivalent um, sites, and mm -hmm. uh, there if I if I don't specify no sim equals true, then Quantum must press well add additional k points to the ones specified in order to preserve the symmetry of the grid somehow. Did you ever encounter this? So you know, because of that, I wasn't able to run the, to run the symmetry adaptive mode. So which compound are you using? It's like uh, it was calcium VO3, but like any uh, perovskite structure. 
I I don't I have never so let me uh, discuss data <laughs> in more detail. So if you send some input file or uh, to the, just send email to me, I can check. Great. I, yeah, I will do that. Thank you. Well, I think in a few minutes the tutorial session will finish. So if you have questions, please ask me now. Any questions? Any questions from the Adriatica? Okay, there is one question here. Uh, is this symmetry adapted uh, option uh, available when we consider Vanier 90 as a library in uh, Abinitio code? Sorry, again, uh, available for. So I think the question was <clears throat> if we, one can use uh, the symmetry adapted mode in uh, the symmetry adapted method in, with the Vanier library mode. Not Vanier library mode. Ah. For the moment, no. I think it is only implemented. I forgot, but I think it is only in the standalone mode. <laughs> yeah, I suspect it, it must be so because you know the the library mode contains at the moment uh, only the basic features. Um, while uh, actually next week we will have developers meeting where there will be discussions on on some work that has been going on in the UK to sort of restructure the library mode to contain in, 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 an, in a way that would uh, contain all the features of any 90 but this is not there yet. So I suspect that most of the specific features are not there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Um, okay, I think the, we should stop here. Uh, thank, let's, let's thank our speaker again. So we,